So the autopsy results of Ifani has been released and it actually shows that he died by drowning. But at this point in time, the chef and the nanny are all still in custody because, I mean, if he died by drowning, it means that they were very negligent for him to leave the house, go through the stairs, go to the backyard and end up in the pool and drown. Like the negligence, is, this is just the height of negligence, the height of it. Like if I pay you to do something for me, take care of one kid, eight people in my house, calling themselves staff, I don't know, like the autopsy proves that he actually died by drowning, which is just one side of the whole story. Now, why will he go and drown? Because, you know, in, in the past years, people have died and when you die, you have to die through some means. And he's a young boy, he's three years old. Somebody can just say, oh, if I can go to the pool, okay, and wait for me there. And then as a young boy, he's gonna go there and then, you know, while waiting, he can jump into the pool. Or someone can say, oh, if I need go behind, I'm coming. Or, you know, and as a young boy, the negligence, he's three years old, you must have noticed, you should know a three-year-old boy that if he's not around here, then he's here. Maybe it's a young guy who just likes swimming. You know that if he disappears for one minute, he's either playing games in the backyard or he's in the, or he's in the pool. Maybe in the house, he's excited about the pool and usually he wants to go there and the little time that he spends on his own, he wants to go there. All of these things have to just be put into consideration because I just do not know how eight people live in the house. I don't know how many rooms Davido house, Davido's house has, if it's 50 rooms. But man, eight people for a young boy, once there is silence for one minute when you're with a young person like this, you need to go find out where he is it's not a matter of i thought he's with the chef the chef i thought he's with the nanny i thought no nobody's thoughting no you guys need to you know sort whatever is going on and i'm not blaming anybody but the negligence is just too much it's just too much it's just too much for the amount of people it's just too much and this is davido's son like i said no stone will be left unturned the nanny was talking to whoever and it's so sad that this nanny was actually talking to davido's friend because at this point the nanny could be talking to anybody and whoever the person is is going to be called in for questioning because why would you be the one particular one calling the nanny at that point where she had to step aside like it's a young boy he's three years old if you answer the call next to him what's going to happen how long was the call what are you guys talking about don't you know she's working why are you all those things had to come into play whoever it's just a sad thing and hey girlfriend why are you calling the nanny and the nanny has to move away and that video i mean what's going on like the whole thing is just confusing like i just don't know either the boy just for some rare percentage of uncertainty and destiny just went down into that pool and drowned or someone may have lured him to go to the pool i mean these things happen. I mean, Davido is Davido and Chioma is Chioma. Both of them are just too happy for anybody's liking. They're buying her cars. They're doing, they are coming back together. They are parading their son. I mean, everything. No, I mean, I mean, this could be a rare case of, you know, something that just happened as well as it may not. So I'm, I'm keeping my eyes very glued to this case because this just doesn't make sense. Why would this young boy go to the backyard? and just drown himself into the pool and everybody's at home watching DSTV, changing channels, enjoying AC. Bruh, like answering calls, chef said, oh, I'm here to cook. Nanny said, oh, I was taking a call. I'm sure the cousin was in the house or some securities. What are you guys concentrating on? Like, anyways. This is a very sad story. Like, I'm going to be updating you guys. I'm going to show you guys um, the whole information, um, what the, the police actually released, the statement. And the police, the police was going to do the autopsy anyways, because autopsies are requirements for that investigation procedure. So whether it was the widow's son or not, the autopsy was going to be done. And I want to tell you guys that no stone will be left unturned. This is the son of david adeleke it's not it's about to go down like if you are linked to anything that is linked to anything bro you're gonna go down except that you ask i don't know but anyways i'm gonna update you guys this is a very sad story you guys keep watching here and information will reach you